I'm not going to bore you with four hours worth of video, so here's how to get to Pemberton in two minutes flat. And here's the camp setup. If only setting up camp was this quick and easy. Oh, and note to self, don't put the fly on the ball bar when recording from the dashboard. Okay, so day one, we packed up our lunch, some drinks, keyed in our destination into the HX1, and we hit the road, and off we went. But things didn't quite go according to plan. Now here's a little tip when you purchase a HEMA HX1. When you first set it up, do not hit the tab that says include dirt tracks, because it will take you to places that nobody has been for years you will get lost like we did. In 250 metres, bear right onto Roger the Road, then bear left. That's what worries me. I'm sure we are. Of course we are. No, well I've just keyed in the name of the road that takes you there, which is Rizzo Road. As usual, the video doesn't do this hill justice, but the old HJ45 made it up quite easily. And we did manage to find some tracks to play on anyway, despite getting lost.
So after playing on some hills and in some mud and finding roads that don't even exist anymore, we found this lovely little campsite hidden in the bush down by the Warren River where we stopped and had some lunch and took a few photos and enjoyed the afternoon in some peace and quiet. Okay, so after getting lost on day one, we decided to get a paper map and uh, find the right road into the Jaeger Up Tunes, programmed into the HX1 and hey presto, we didn't get lost this time. Now the reason for this traffic jam was this Cherokee was stuck on the hill. How we even got in there, I have no idea. What is it? Did he get over? Did he get over? Yeah, cool. And with a little bit of encouragement from the wife, we made it over quite easily. So here we came across our second traffic jam for the day. Guy in a Challenger was struggling to get up the hill. Tried a few times and with a little bit of encouragement for us, we got him up the hill. Yeah, more than that. Yeah. Tell, tell him to put his foot down and don't take it off. <laughs> Now this guy was going nowhere fast, so we advised him to back it back down, let a bit more air out of his tyres and try it again. We're pretty sure he made it over.
There's a bit of sand coming your window in. And after a bit more encouragement from the wife, we made it over the last sand dune and down onto the beach. And all I can say is, wow, what a view. What an amazing beach. Also, I advise that you don't stop here because it's pretty soft, as we found out on the way back. As we arrived at the Warren River mouth, it became pretty apparent that uh, we weren't crossing here today. It was like a car park and it was too deep to get across. So unfortunately, Colcarp Hill will be a challenge for yet another day. We stopped here and had some lunch and watched a few people wade out across the water to see if they could get across. And then the wife decided she'd take the car through the car wash. And don't worry, this is fresh water from the Warren River. Okay, so as I alluded to you earlier, this is the reason why you do not stop at the entry point, the exit point, to Yagarat Beach. It's very soft, and I thought I'd video the wife exiting the beach, and this is what happened. So, I tried to get myself out using all my recovery gear, shifted about half a tonne of sand, but uh, the Jeep was down on its belly, and it was going absolutely nowhere. So eventually I had to admit defeat and this really nice guy in his patrol <coughs> came along and snatched me out in an instant. Must have been all that shifting of sand I did that uh, got me out so easily I think. That's all good. Hey bad stop. Oh yeah he's got him, sorry. It's all right, you can let me go now. I'm out. Okay, so the next challenge was this dune, and this was our fourth attempt to get over it. And with a big enough run up, we eventually did get over it. Now, I'm not quite sure if the wife's squeal at the end of it was her excitement of us finally getting over the dune, or the sheer drop off that was on the other side. And again, the video does not do this hill any justice at all. I can tell you that this part of the Jaeger up tune system is just an amazing piece of scenery. Here with others, I think. It's like driving on the Mitchell Freeway without the black stuff and without all the congestion. It's just amazing and you need a four-wheel drive to get up here but geez you just got to do it you just got to get out there and see it so i'll shut up now and i'll leave you with some music for the rest of the drive home
So this is a fun way to light a fire, the good old flint. I think I've been watching too much of Ronnie and Harry starting campfires in the bush. But never mind, do yourself a favour, get yourself one of these, and you'll be setting fire to toilet paper for days. It's awesome. Anyway, I'll leave you with some more music and the rest of the video, and hopefully we'll see you next time. Oh, and all our trip videos will now be available on this channel, so if you like, hit the subscribe button, you'll get to see them all, and I hope you've enjoyed them. Ciao.